yes, oh yes, oh yes. I really hope that your evening slash Sunday is going as well as mine is going. We have another emergency video because Milan won another derby and in the sweetest way possible because I have to admit they really did all that deserved that win but these are the sweetest wins when you don't deserve it and you come away with the victory and thanks to two Frenchmen Milan slayed the big Inter Dragon kind of throwing the title race a little bit wide open we'll see about the probabilities when I publish my stats cast probably Tuesday evening Wednesday morning uh, on that but this was a vital win for Milan a draw would not have helped much if you wanted to go for the title However, it also has to be very, very, very clearly said that especially in the first half, I think it was the opening exchange is 10 minutes, it was all kind of all right. And then Inter slowly ground Milan down. And I think especially between, uh, I would say, minute 10 and minute 30, Inter really, really stifled Milan. They could not get out of the half, they could not uh, stitch together any meaningful passes, uh, no meaningful at, at attacks and it was all Mignon who kept them in play, uh, having some brilliant saves. I mean for, for me the more brilliant one was the one where um, a Brozovic shot got deflected by Kalulu um, and he was already going one way, fortunately deflection was not so big that he could, could go all to go to the other and save it. But also on Dumfries, uh, a really, really good save there uh, to keep Milan in play. When Dumfries really thought he had done it, he went full power. He did not go with finesse and you could see Inzaghi on the sideline. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, it really, the first third third minutes, I think Inter would have deserved a lead for 100% sure. So I gotta give it to them. Um, and then there was an injury, I think. I think it was Kalulu who got hit, hit, hit in the head where Milan kind of, you could really say they are taking now a break. But before I get to that, I was a little bit baffled that the Inter fans didn't make any choreography. But that is something I have to still uh, uh, figure out why but, and maybe mention in my proper Serie A v v video. I will not talk that much about the Derby any, any, anymore. But I have to say, that break, suddenly Milan stitched some, 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 some together. There was like um, a, a great shot by Tonali, the Handanovic had, had to save him from uh, that, kind of on the rebound. Uh, I think the uh, ball came then to Leao. And I, it was really two good chances. And, and at the moment, I was really thinking, oh, maybe they can turn the game around. Boom. Counter-attack again, Mignon is saving uh, a shot, it goes to a corner and they completely lose uh, Perisic in the box and again, Jalanoglu from a corner kick is assisting against Milan. Ah, hate that guy. Meanwhile, I hate them. I hate, I hate him. 1-0 to Inter, um, I think, yeah, it was deserved. It was everything bit deserved. Inter was by far the better team at that point. However, what Inter did not do in the second half, Milan actually made, made some changes. I mean, uh, it, it was an interesting lineup, you know, with Kessie in the number 10 role to kind of limit Brozovic. So I really thought that uh, the game was more first, um, let's limit Brozovic's circles. However, what Inter managed is to get Theo Hernandez and Rafael Leao completely out of the game. But then that all changed. I mean, Messias came, came, came on to Salamakas, who was largely ineffective. So there was a little bit more danger than the 58th minute. I think a very important exchange. Kessie came off. Brian, two whistles from the Milan fans. Brian Diaz came on. And he changed the game in many, many ways. Although I have to admit at that moment that the game was far more even. Uh, However, I also have to say that at the same time, to be honest, it, it did not look like that Milan is going to score anytime soon. It was more like Inter saying, okay, yeah, we have a really tough pro program. I think they, they play now Roma in the cup, then they play Napoli, and then they play Liverpool. A great program. for. So I think they were taking a little bit of foot off the gas, which you never should do in a derby to begin with. Uh, and yeah. That actually allowed Milan to hang in there and then, um, you know, uh, Perisic came off uh, um, Di Marco, then Alatoro Martinez came off, Jalanoglu came off and then uh, just one run and suddenly there was a big chance out there. The ball comes to Brahim Diaz and I thought he already squandered one the chance because he, he, he took his extra touch but plays over to Giroud, puts it into net, 1-1. One, one. 
I was ecstatic. And at that moment I was already thinking and you know, I took my uh, red and black guitar, of course. Let me show you this uh, beauty that I have. <laughs> and I decided to, to play because I really felt that uh, Milan uh, did not play that great. I said, okay, uh, I stopped caring in a way, uh, which is to me, you have to understand, the Derby is for me the most emotional game of the year. Not even the last game can get me as emotional as the Milan Derby. I'm really all in. This is the one game where it's all on the line and I tell my, fam my, my family, if we lose, I will try to accept it, but please leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> in a way, so yeah. In any way, um, I was totally ecstatic because it uh, it came out of the blue, and I was thinking while playing. I I thought a little bit, yeah, I, I really would love it if Milan could just snatch uh, kind of a little bit of undeserved equalizer, but it got even better. Giroud just uh, three minutes later from a Calabria assist, beautifully. Turns it, it was a very smooth transition, puts it in the corner, Handanovic probably has to save that one, also has to, has, has to be there. And it's 2-1 Milan. An absolute turnaround within three minutes. I mean, he's at the moment my, my favorite Frenchman, although we never should forget. We never should forget Mike Magnon, who was the, the hero of the first half. Those two, Magnon and Giroud, delivered the derby win, more or less. And I definitely got, got to say, then they hung, hung on, I mean, um, Theo Hernandez played, he was ineffective in the first half, he got more in the game in the second half, but uh, his, I, I would say his fit performance is more, more or less bordered on uh, having overconfidence. There were a few times where he had the ball where I really thought, please, what are you doing? Uh, he got fine with it and then he actually um, helped make the first goal in a way, but uh, it did not look well uh, overall. I really thought he's a little bit too hot-headed, and that uh, has always been his problem. And so, yeah, the only no, 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 noticeable thing, I mean, there were a few fouls. I, I actually thought I mean, the ref was not bad, but I think he gave a little bit more uh, yellow cards, or more cards, I felt, against Milan uh, than Inter. I think there, the, the, there was one for Alexis Sanchez Brim Diaz, where he should have given a yellow card, and then uh, a few few minutes later, he, he gives the same thing to uh, Ben Acer, I think. But Milan held on. And it wasn't even, Inter did not have a chance. I mean, that 2-1 completely, absolutely deflated them. It was uh, a, an amazing sight to see because I really didn't see that. And maybe on the back of the second half, Milan at least would have deserved a point. The win, still think it's a little bit uh, much, but uh, you know. The best wins always are the wins that you don't expect and that you probably don't even really deserve all that much. So yeah, I, I'm really, really happy. With uh, with that, that that I mean, it made my weekend. Uh, you can see, put all my Milan shirts out. The background is just yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving every little bit of it. And to top it off, uh, on the zone they had Jürgen Klinsmann in the German life theory, who was of course very neutral for Inter. And seeing his face afterwards, ah, uh, it was sweet. It was absolutely sweet. I loved it. This is for me the biggest thing ever. Uh, it deserves a video. It's maybe not, the feeling is maybe not as, no, maybe similar. You know, when Milan won the, third, the first derby last season, I also did an emerge emergency review because they, they broke a long streak. This win was ab absolutely crucial, but it also tells me how much it hurts not to have lost against Spezia. Because if you would have won that game and you had won this game, and yeah, big PR win for Milan for not slamming the ref and actually consoling him. Um, but if you have that win, you're now two points ahead of Inter who have a game in hand. Inter still are in reality four points ahead because I cannot see them uh, losing to Bologna in many, many ways. But you know, it might turn around. You have to back this up though now. You are not in Europe. You have the time. You have to back this up. The next game I think is against Sam Sampdoria. You have to win this. You have to keep it up now. Of course, Juve, Napoli also equally very, very excited about that result. And, you know, Napoli will now hope that they will do something against Inter as well. I'm hoping for a draw, to be honest. So, yeah, it could be a turning point of the season. I, Given that Inter still have four points, I'm not quite buying it. So, I'm still Inter firmly the favorite. But I think that win was crucial for Milan to at least say, yeah, we are making it in the Champions League. 
we're definitely going to make it into the Champions League. This is our goal. Uh, and this was absolutely uh, vital for that sense. So I'm not saying yet turn around, but there's a good chance. And I think with the program that Inter is coming up, there might be a few points lost along the way as well. But then Milan have not been all that calm, calm convincing as of late as well. Especially if you stay now in the cup competition, you have to play Roma and so on. Calm, 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 calm. Should um, yeah, I think winning a Scudetto wouldn't be too bad. Either. Uh, winning the uh, cup, the Coppa wouldn't be too bad either, to be honest. But you know, it's also a long way. Scudetto is overall is all about it, uh, for me. I think uh, getting level again with Inter and then maybe a championship and then going for the twentieth one before Inter that would be the sweetest. Although I have consigned already the fact that Inter will probably win this championship. To be fair. The Derby did not change my assessment and Inter are still the best team in Italy. So I have to be fair that, but for now I'm loving this win. You got four points off of Inter, this has not happened in a while. You won for the City Championship, that's all that counts for now. And with that, I'm gonna leave you. You will get of course many more reviews uh, at the beginning of the week for everything else but i think the derby deserved its own video because other otherwise the Sierra rebook gets really 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 long any case let me know your thoughts on the derby give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel to see more and <laughs> big smile i will talk to you soon <laughs> bye <laughs> hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!